Hello everyone and welcome to round 7 of the F1 2016 Subscriber Championship hosted by FoxyDude98. We're in the manor, we're using our red helmet that we've been using for most of this season but in the last two Grand Prix it's not given us much luck. In China we had 7th, in Abu Dhabi we had 7th and now we're here for the Canadian Grand Prix, we're in sixth on the grid, but can we head towards a podium position in this race as we hit five lights? And away we go for the Canadian Grand Prix. It's a good start for myself, not a good start for Williams Gaming, as we're going to look to try and make many positions into the first corner. There's a lot of Williams. There's contact between Seymour and Williams and Timor and Williams have now hit. Huge drama here at the beginning of the Canadian Grand Prix. And as we head towards turn three, we are in third position. I think it's Pro Cargo Pilot who leads the Grand Prix in the Ferrari and Foxy Dude 98 in the Force India in second place. But already we in the manor are up into third position from six on the grid. That was an incredible start. Alex Degu has joined, so he didn't quite make the cut after his first win last time out. He did miss out on this race. There's a huge corner cut there for Foxy Dude 98. That's going to compromise his way through the hairpin. We'll have grass all over his tyres. Can we close up though on the straight? Swing it a bit wide. We've already gained on the Force India and Ferrari. We whack it back into rich fuel. We started the race on rich to try and get the best start possible, which we did. And now we're looking to move further up the podium as we are in third place. Look for a little move, but not close enough. Foxy Dude now misses the Wall of Champions. So do we. So does Cargo. So as we head into lap 2, we're gaining on Tom. Foxy Dude 98. We're going to look for a move on the inside on lap 2. On turn 1, we've got the move done. We've left him move. Give him a bit of a squeeze. But we've got the move done on the Force India driver. So, <laughs> despite being 6th in qualifying and not having the pace in qualifying, we clearly have it in the race. We're up into 2nd on lap 2. That was a fantastic dive bomb move. Not dangerous, but just enough to be able to get the move done without contact. So we've gone purple in the first sector, as I'm sure everyone else is going to. We make a slight mistake there, um, and Foxy may be able to close up on us, but it's not looking like he's going to. So he's staying with us, but we've got to try and close down the Ferrari driver of Pro Cargo Pilot. What drama! Huge saying on this channel, what drama, but what drama really has gone on today as uh, the F1 Gamer 12 has left the session and if you look on the mini-map, um, there's a yellow flag in Sector 1, so we could see, oh, and then, okay, safety car deployed, so um, let's make a decision, we're going to come in this lap then, we're going to come in this lap, um, Alex also, not Alex, sorry, I'm really getting confused now, Cargo comes in as well. Foxy Dude 98 also comes in, so it looks like all the front runners are coming in for their pit stops here at the Canadian Grand Prix. We temporarily lead at the front of the pack, but we're right at the end of the pit lane because we are the lowest team from last season. And all the cars are going past us now. It looks like we've lost quite a few places in the grid, and it looks like we're going to be in fourth position. So we've lost two places. Because our team are so far down on the grid, um, in, in the pit lane, sorry. And that is huge for this race. So we've got it all to do yet again. It's Cargo Pilot who leads the race. Foxy Dude 98, who's in second, has been some overtaking. Um, and oh my god, we've hit the safety car. And GC Brom's gone straight through us. So I have no idea what's going on with this safety car. We're going to repass GT Brom. But wow, this safety car has really turned. This Canadian Grand Prix on its head. Cargo Pilot, I think, leads. Timor is in third. Fox Dude in second. And we're in fourth. So confirmation then. It looks like the game had a bit of a glitch sort of thing. With people teleporting out of the pit lane. Um, so what we're going to do is when the safety car comes in. We're going to swap the drivers around at the front. So, oh there you go. Safety car is coming in this lap. It's Fox Dude 98 who leads. But what we're going to do is let... Cargo retake the lead of the race and then he's going to set the pace temporarily and then we're going to get going again. The tension is mounting in this Canadian Grand Prix. 
who is going to come out on top. We're looking good for some decent points today. We've made some great overtakes already. So hopefully we can continue our great form as we prepare to go racing once again. Cargo Pilot is going to retake the lead. We're going to leave a bit of room as you can see. So we hopefully get the best exit as Cargo Pilot begins to make the dash. We're quite far behind. GT Brom is going to look for the move into turn one maybe. But I don't think he's going to go for the dive bomb this time round. No he doesn't. The hash driver keeps it sensible. Fifth place for him would be a fantastic result. And there's already a yellow flag. I don't know who that is. Into turn one you can see on your map there's already been a crash uh, in this Canadian Grand Prix. As we've only started uh, from the safety car just then. A huge drama here at the Canadian Grand Prix. We're purple in the first sector. Um... We've made our stop, so that's why we're on the fresh tyres and we're already keeping up with this lead pack. It looks like Cargo is maintaining his lead, if not breaking out a little bit. But we're definitely on pace here with Timor 0299 and Foxy Dude 98. We're sort of sizing up a move on Timor. We're in the slipstream. Are we going to go for a dive bomb into the hairpin? Yes, we do. Up the inside of the McLaren. It's going to be a simple move unless he has better traction on the outside, which he doesn't. There's a slight bit of contact there. Nearly pushing him off the circuit but we get the move done on the Welshman in the McLaren and now we're going to move on to the host Foxy Dude 98 in that second place we overtook him into the first corner earlier on in the Grand Prix can we do it again depends on a good exit we've both run onto that curve flicked us up into the air he's gone onto the grass a little bit there we've got a huge slip dream on him can we get a move on the Force India driver we got the inside again into turn one leaving space he's going to continue go up in our inside but I think we're going to have him around the outside yes we do and we move into second position now our target now is to catch pro cargo pilot in his ferrari going for the win of this grand prix he's had a really good one so far as foxy dude goes at the inside we leave the space and where's he gonna be he's in the wall foxy dude 98 is in the wall wow incredible scenes here timor now takes third place foxy dude i believe is miles down the order so Huge drama here. Timor may be looking for a move into turn one. It's been clean racing um, since we made that contact with Foxy Dude 98. We've cut the final corner. We've gone on the grass. This is Timor's chance to take second place. He's going to have the inside like we did to Foxy Dude. We're going to hold it around the outside. The McLaren never comes. And we hold the position for this lap he might have a go next lap unless he goes for a move here which it doesn't look like it so it looks like he's going to be defending here and out from team or 0299 is he going to look for a move up the inside? It looks like he does. He backs out of it in the end. It's only a dummy. But he will look into the move into the hairpin. So this is where we passed him earlier on, I think, on, on lap 7 or lap 8. Is he going to go for it? We leave the space. He doesn't quite go for it. And the clouds are starting to get dark as well. So we might even see a bit of rain at the end of this Grand Prix as Timo's back end goes sliding all over the place like a slippery snake. Can he get into our slipstream and pass us? He's gaining on us really quickly here. Timor is going to go for the move, maybe. He's backed out of it. Sensible thing to do. He's going to look at the move. In turn one, we're nearly into the wall of champions. Timor has a much better exit than us. He's alongside, so we won't get any slipstream. A bit of lag going on here, and he's lagging all over the place. My God, huge lag. We're lucky not to have crashed there. That could have really ruined our chances of anything good in this Grand Prix. But Timor is really looking good for a second place, if not a third place, unless we make contact. Cargo Pilot, give you a quick update. He's miles into the lead and it's looking like he's going to win the Canadian Grand Prix. If we have Timor still all over the back of us, I don't know if he's managed his tyres better or our pace has just dropped off. But we're having to defend for our lives. And if you look on the minimap as well, 4th and 5th are catching us. So it's not going to be a two-horse race, perhaps. There's five laps remaining in this Canadian Grand Prix. And that's five. Actually, no, that's ten DRS zones. Timor is going to have two past us. And this deadly hairpin where we passed him earlier. So he's right on our back now. We stick it into Rich. We need to get as best exit we can heading down into the final corner and into turn one he's quite far back actually this time so i think we're going to be able to hold the position on the mclaren driver oh he had a sneaky look there and um doesn't quite pull it off i mean it's a dummy again he's trying to team me up for turn one but it's not quite happening for the mclaren driver unless he goes through the dive bomb which he doesn't so the next lap will be his best chance to overtake us yet again. 
So will he pass us on the straight? That's the question now. We chuck it into Rich yet again, defending hard. Fourth and fifth now are right behind us. They're only a couple of seconds now behind Timor. So he really wants to get me out of the way because I'm beginning to hold up the McLaren driver. He goes for the move this time again. He backs out of it. He really clean driving from the pair of us so far. Oh, and there's a little bit of contact there. Timor just clips our inside. No huge damage occurring, which is all good. Timor, though, he's going to look for the move up the inside. No, yet again. There's not quite enough speed to do it. Oh, and he gets close, though, as we continue to go around turn two. What drama. What a great race. A definite better race than the previous two. Two seventh places in a row. And it's looking at this stage like we're going to be hold on. Well, we're going to be able to hold on to this podium position. We're nine seconds behind Cargo Pilot now. So he's definitely won this race. But this is going to be our first podium. Um, I think since there's yellow flags ahead, it's Teflon Vipers. He's off the circuit. Teflon Vipers, we have to break and go round him. And Timor's right behind us now. So Teflon Vipers has screwed up our race a bit there. This is going to give Timor a great chance to go up the inside of the hairpin. He goes a little bit wider. No, he doesn't. That's a lie. But he's going to stay behind us in the slipstream and try and get the best run he can, he's going to try and hopefully pass us, well not hopefully for us, but for himself, hopefully pass us on the straight, he goes at the inside the McLaren and he's finally got the move done and Teflon Vipers, that crash has really destroyed our race, but now we're in a slipstream of Timor, he opens up his DRS, we're going to look for a move up the inside of Timor, oh and then, oh my god, there's a huge crash, me and Timor, we've got a penalty for corner cutting and what a huge crash there, incredible lag on the second Second to last lap of the Canadian Grand Prix. Whoa, we're so lucky not to be further down the grid. We've got off pretty much unscathed, but we have that three second penalty. Um, I don't know how far he is behind now, but that was a huge crash with Timor into turn one. That was neither of our faults. Ridiculous lag. Oh my god, that was <laughs> heart and mouth stuff, but now. Despite we were struggling, we're going to have to try and pull out a three-second gap on this final lap. A 20-foot Harambe is online. Rubbish news. Hate him. But just looking back now, it also looks like on top of our three-second, we do have a five-second for corner cutting. So, Jeff just came on there. Um, cheers, Jeff, for that information. But this could be huge. So... Oh, and if you look as well in the top left-hand corner, it's Williams Gaming, uh, one of our championship rivals, is in third position. So Timor really has been screwed by the lag there and that crash. I don't know if he's got penalty as well. Um, I mean, I didn't get a penalty for the crash. Both of them were for corner cutting, which is ridiculous from this game. I can't believe it's given us penalties for corner cutting, which is going to mean we're going to have to get out an eight-second gap over Williams Gaming, which... It's, it's not doable, I really don't think. We're going to have to try our best. I think he's scrapping with Timor, and we've seen Timor. He's a great driver. It's really a shame, actually, that he's not on many points this season because he is one of the best drivers. But it looks like Williams Gaming is going to get that third position. Cargo Pilot, then, quick update, is leading this Grand Prix by Cryt away now. So he's definitely going to win this race. I believe it's his first race He's won this season, so a fantastic job there from the Ferrari. We're only three seconds ahead of Williams Gaming, so I really think we're going to be further down. We might even be behind Timor, um, so that he'll be in fourth. And then fifth and sixth aren't that much further behind them, so it might not be the dream ending that we wanted. Pro Cargo Pilot gets Ferrari's first win of the season. We're going to come home then in second position, we think, for the Canadian Grand Prix. A great result. But now we need to wait to see where everyone else finishes. So here are the results of today's F1 2016 Subscriber Championship Canadian Grand Prix. Pro Cargo Pilot picked up his first win of the season. And despite our penalties, we did actually finish in second place. Williams Gaming finally gets another podium. And Timor, after that incredible crash, unfortunately uh, for him, didn't get that podium and ends in fourth. GT Brom a fantastic fifth, an alienator on his debut with eight points in sixth. Sonic in the Renault is seventh, Foxydude after that crash is eighth, 
James Bear 9th and Verstappen Lover in 10th. Moving on to the actual championship then, it's joint first place between myself and Foxy Dude, both on 95 points, and Williams Gaiman is only two points behind with 93. Alex Daigo 2002, by missing another Grand Prix, is only on 76 points, but still in the hunt for the championship, with Timor in fifth with 69. Cargo Pilot also moves into the top 10 with that win with 31 points and there you can see the rest of the table. Next race is the Spanish Grand Prix so hopefully you can join me then. As always remember to like, subscribe, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.